Okay, he's here today to help us celebrate St. Patrick's Day in even more style and also to give us the latest on the Boys Zone reunion. Back in the 90s, they had a legion of fans and notched up six number one hits. Their debut single, Love Me For A Reason, took the charts by storm, reaching number two in 1994. Don't love me for fun, girl. Let me be the one, girl. Love me for a reason. Let the reason be love Please welcome Shane Lynch. <laughs> Hello, Shane. It's How lovely to see you again. It's good to be back, sir. So let's have a look at your tattoos then. We're <laughs> <laughs> here all day looking at them. I know. I know. Have you got any hidden hours. away? Well, I mean, down on the, the feet and the legs and stuff, but not in the, that oh. region, you know. Oh. <laughs> yes. Now, last time you were here, we weren't actually too sure what was going on with the reunion, and then mm. you announced it on Children in Need uh, right. last year, and apparently you, you, you sold, pretty much sold out your tickets in, in three hours, is that right? It, it went absolutely amazing. I mean, we couldn't have asked for it better. Uh, it was a big step for us guys, kind of releasing uh, tickets when we didn't have a record out. That was the main mm. thing. Um, and we kind of contemplated whether it was the right step to, do, to, uh, to take. Mainly because with a record, record deal, there's a lot of promotion, mm. there's a lot of TV that goes with it, and, you know, tickets go well. So we decided to, to go for it anyway, and it, and it paid off. So we how were. did it all come about, though? Because there, there was so much, not denial, Friction. but, like, no, it'll never happen kind of thing, you know. Yeah. And then suddenly it's, whoa, it is happening. Well, for years, I think, there was a bit of friction, yes, um, in, in kind of the early 2000s, one, two, and three kind of times. And we, we were grown up enough to understand that more to life than that. We sorted our problems out. Uh, a lot of it was kind of lack of communication, to be on honest with you, to do with press and that kind of thing. And we weren't really, um, you know, on the, on the end of the phone to each other sorting them problems out and because because it had it escalated into bigger problems than it, than it needed to be so when we sorted all them kind of situations out and we we spoke and realized it was never as bad as uh, what, what mm. we thought it was then we we kind of uh, decided well for over years especially last time i was on the show there was ideas that we could possibly go on tour, but there was nothing solid to say, mm. yes, we are or we're not. Mm -hmm. So it was always better just to say, we don't know. So you've all grown up now, that's what it is. I'd like yeah, to believe so, yeah. yeah. The first time round, you were I was really game, like, messed first. up, yeah, really, yeah. weren't you, mentally? Apart from yeah. on stage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you were, you were a You're bit right, mashed yeah. in the head, weren't you, at that stage? Yeah, I was, I was, on, spill the beat. I was, well, you know what, I think I was very young, I was very immature. Mm. Um, I was very angry and violent at one point in my life, most definitely, and uh, I did like a f bit of yeah, booze yeah. and stuff, yeah, drink helped with the anger and violence and that kind of thing, and uh, it's, it's just nice to come out of that stuff and to realise, like I kind of rebelled against what a boy band member was mm. meant to be, mm. and looking back on that now, the best days of my life, it was incredible, and I'd be, I'm very proud to say, I'm in a boy band. But I'm yeah, in a, it's but, time you know, again now, haven't you? Absolutely. It's like you've got it again and you can really appreciate it this time absolutely. because you're going to be there to enjoy it rather than yeah, I think that's to destroy it. Exactly that. And I think that's the nice thing that I, I can in myself uh, understand that I appreciate it now mm -hmm. and not trying to rebel against what a boy band mm -hmm. is. But no. How, do, how does your lovely wife, Sheena, mm. how does she feel about you going back, back, in, back into the band and all that comes with that, with the touring and the adoration and, you know? Well... I, yeah, I think, lucky enough for me, I've, I've kind of always been in television, if you want to say, from different reality shows and that kind of stuff. Um, so it's just more of the same, but just in a different, um, I suppose, genre of, of the industry, if you want to say. It's, it's going on stage and singing and dancing and mm -hmm. doing that lark. But she's absolutely fine about it. She's delighted, you know, because she knows it makes me happy. Um, so when I'm, when I'm and, and speaking of reality shows, you had to put, pull out a Cirque du Soleil, didn't you? Because you injured did, yourself. Yeah. What, what did you do? Um, I pulled a pectoral muscle, which... Um, oh, that kills. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you're hanging off. Mine's still swollen. Is it? <laughs> There's many a man who's died trying time to pull your pectoral really? muscle. Wow. Uh, um, yeah, so a little incident like that happened and I, I couldn't continue, so, yeah. So have you had to get fit to get back into touring again? I mean, you seem like a pretty fit guy anyway. Is there anything you've had to change to go, to go um, on tour? 
Yeah, I have to say, me and all the lads, uh, in fairness, we have never worked so hard in all of our lives in a fitness regime of things. Is it because you're older? Yeah, yeah. I, definitely, we're older, but I, I think we appreciate this chance, and what, what, we've all got personal trainers, we, we want to look the best we've ever looked, and mm. um, we want to... We want to deliver um, an amazing show to the best of our ability because we're honoured that people have bought tickets, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And I think that one of the most amazing things is going to walk out on stage and, and I want to see the faces. I want to know yeah. who bought it. Do you think you've been inspired by the, take, the, the huge success mm. of the Take That reunion? I'd be silly to say that we, we wouldn't be um, being inspired by all of the Take That and the Spice Girls and them kind of successful mm. reunions. And I think that is a, it's a big help in hand to the yeah. ones, the fact that, yes, we could possibly do it. Mm -hmm. If they hadn't done it, then perhaps I, I wouldn't be here talking about mm. going on tour. Yeah. And, and you're talking about, you know, your, your life and, the, you know, we're talking about the fact that you, your attitude is so different now. You, you, you're writing your autobiography that's going to be out in April. Yeah, March The Chancer. It's, it, the Chancer, it's called. And the reason why I call it The Chancer is that's what my life has been. It really has. I was a kid... Um, um, obviously, I grew up in school. I couldn't read and write. I was dyslexic, um, but I, I got through that school without kind of being found out in, the, in those areas. Uh, I, I became a car mechanic, which I love cars. But then I, I was asked, you know, do you want to be in a band? I never sang, never danced, never done anything of the sort. And I said, yeah, I'll have, I'll have a go at that. Became, a, you know, uh, one of the biggest bands in the world. And my whole life has been led to chance. It really hasn't just taken that chance and opportunity, and it's really paid off for me mm -hmm. in that respect. So yeah. The chance it is. It's the look of the Irish, I suppose. It's the look of the Irish. Are going to have a little drum for St. Patrick's Day? I've been on it all weekend, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> the, head, the head's a bit sore this morning, it is. Monday's uh, a rubbish day for it. A anyway, terrible really. day, yeah. Have, a terrible day for it, but I was inspired by the dancing. I was. Okay. I was inspired. I'll I'm gonna teach have, you I'm going to have a point for yeah, you. Sorry, you. And, and Shane, the tour begins on the 25th of May at the Belfast Odyssey Arena. Yeah. We're so glad that you're back on tour Thank again. You. It's been lovely to see you again. Shane Lynch, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>